What's up, everybody? It's the J-A-Y man here. Back on another beer review. Or shall we say, the chick beer review. This one right here is made just for the ladies. The ladies that love the wine coolers and those type of things. Whatever. I don't really review these types of products too often, but I just wanted to do it. So, whatever. Today, we are going to be checking out Mike's Hard Black Cherry Lemonade. And it's a twist off, so we lucked out. I don't got a bottle over it. But it's made for the chicks. I don't make. I don't make no sense. That sounds sexist. I can smell that black cherry. It almost. I thought it was grape in the beginning. It looked like grape, but it's hard black cherry. And if anybody's familiar with anything, Mike's. Um, back in the day, they come out with the Mike's Hard Lemonade when it was, I, I guess it was just that one product, just Mike's Hard Lemonade, the regular. And I remember drinking some of that back in the day, and I thought it was decent. It was pretty tasty. It was kind of one of those things like, I want to drink, but I'm really not in the mood to drink beer. So I'll drink this. I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's do a little talking. Then I will do the, I'm not gonna pour it in a glass because I don't think that's really necessary for this type of drink. Um, we see the color, you know, there's just no need for all that. I just don't think so. Um, according to their website, it's a refreshing, Black cherry sweetness meets zesty lemonade tartness. The ABV is going to be 5.0%. So that's five. It is in the style of malt liquor. It's considered malt liquor. So she go, give me some of that malt liquor. And then they'll bring you one of these. And you're like, nah, man, that ain't what I'm talking about. Um, it was originally brewed uh, from Mike's Hard Lemonade out of Illinois. When I started looking that up, I really couldn't understand what's going on. I don't know who owns Mike's or what their whole deal is. But, I mean, I don't know. It says it's manufactured by Mike's Hard Lemonade, but then this is out of Waddell, Arizona. So, I don't know. But it says originally brewed out of Illinois. Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Um, it says that this product contains no hops, which would make sense. Well, like I said, getting right into it, this one shouldn't take us long. Smells like black cherry. Let's take a swig, shall we? Uh, there's the tartness. That word right there was a perfect description. I felt the tart. I'm always kind of weird with these because I like the taste of sweet tasting drinks. I like sodas. But see, it's going to be kind of blasphemy to sit there and say, well, I'm going to put it on the five star rating like I always have. But you can't really necessarily put that in the same category as lagers or the IPAs or box. 
um, box style loggers. I, I would probably want to put this in a category of its own. So if I say it's one out of five stars, it's not one out of five on the scale of beer. It's going to be its own wine cooler type scale. You know what I'm saying? You understand. It's like it's sweet going in. It's sweet on the front end, sour on the back end. It ain't bad though. It's bubbly. It's sudsy. It's carbonated. Carbonated as hell. You drink a six pack of these and you are going to be belching all night. I probably would. Like I said, the smell it smells really good. It reminds me of a Jolly Rancher. But it's like a grape Jolly Rancher. And I bet you he threw a couple of Jolly Red Grape Jolly Ranchers in this thing at the bottom. Man, I bet you ooh. I bet you that's I bet you that right there'd spruce it right on up. I'll try that next time. Let me swish it around a little bit. I can't help but squint on that back end when it's going down. I can't help but squint. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad at all. The only thing that I've ever had against wine coolers or Smirnoff ices or Mike's products is not so much that they've ever tasted bad. It's just that if you're wanting to power drink, like I'm talking like, you know, you want to start, you want, like I'm drinking tonight and I'm drinking all night. Man, this is just something you cannot drink all night long. It's too sweet. It's too carbonated it's too uh like it seems like you're going to give yourself a good case of acid indigestion really quick that's me anyway if you're 20 years old and you know you're not an older old man like me then you know you'll probably be okay me personally couldn't drink them all night long one here and there throw one in here and there but it's good i think it's good like i said you get the black cherry on the front end. You get the lemonade on the back. That's the best way. It says, uh, it says it's zesty. Yeah, okay. Black cherry. Lemonade. There it went. Rocking eight and a half minutes. I don't need to go any further with that. Tell you what, I tell you what, man, I am stacking them deep and selling them cheap. If I was going to create my own wine cooler type situation scale, I'm going to give it a three, 3.5 out of five, three and a half stars out of five. And uh, that's all I got to say about it. Rocking nine minutes. What else can be said? What else can be heard? Mike's Hard Black Cherry Lemonade Chick Beer Review in the books. Cheers. Peace out.